Let's see, 20 states file petitions to secede from USA. Texas reaches threshold signatures. My feeling about that is bye-bye. Bye! I personally, you know, they've wanted to be their own country for as long as I've been alive and probably longer than that. So, you know what? Go for it! You know, oh my gosh. <laughs> um, my, my, my feeling about these other states and people in these other states who want to... <laughs> you know, if you don't want to live here, you can go away. That's the same attitude that you give to people who are... Um, immigrants that come here and they don't want to conform to this country. Well, this country is constantly changing. And this country legally and fairly and the majority whatever combined together to put Obama as president for another four years. Sorry you didn't get your way, but you know, are you going to you want to throw a tantrum? You don't want to you don't want to live here with what the majority has voted for. You have the option to go to another country. No one is stopping you. But I'm sorry, the states that you want to secede from the Union, they belong to this country. They are part of the United States of America. And you know, there's lots of really crowded states in this country. I'm sure that we would love to spread out and occupy those states that you don't want to occupy anymore. You can, you know, I, th I hear the Middle East is actually very good right now. You, They've got all the attitudes about um, people who aren't of the same sexual uh, orientation or same gender, you know, the attitudes toward women, the attitudes toward religion, the attitudes that people should be stoned to death if they're disobedient to their parents, all these crazy uh, attitudes that come from your typical uh, Abrahamic inspired religion that's gone um, completely over the top. You'll find that in the Middle East. You'll also find it in some countries in Africa. So I think you'd actually be happier there. You know, they don't even have to vote on it. They're just, that's just the way it is as far as I know. So yeah, it says over the last few days, 20 states have filed petitions to secede with the White House to ask that their states withdraw from the Union. Don't think that's going to work. I think you should just simply leave the country if you don't like living here because, uh, I'm sorry, you lost the election. Your guy was blown out of the water. Uh, it wasn't even close. And, you know, the, the only thing that I heard that was even remotely questionable had to do with Obama losing votes to Romney, not the other way around. So, anyway, <clears throat> of course, um, it says, wait, I completely lost my place. Okay, of the United States and create their own new government. You can call it the, uh, the United States of bigots. Most of the requests come from highly conservative states. Ooh, you think? But a few progressive states like New York and Oregon are included in the lot. Now that surprises me. Oregon? I didn't know you had... <laughs> What's up with that? I'm sorry. I thought I thought people from the Pacific Northwest were a little bit more forward-thinking. Petitions to secede have been filed from Alabama, Arkansas, Colorado, Florida, Georgia, Indiana, Kentucky, Louisiana, Michigan, Mississippi, Missouri, Montana, New Jersey, New York, North Carolina, North Dakota, Oregon, see, totally, that just, ugh, South Carolina, Tennessee, and Texas. Not happy? Go bye-bye. You know, I'm sure there's lots of people in your states that uh, are are happy to be uh, and wanting to stay American citizens. So you don't speak for the majority. And um, I'm sure if, if the people in these states that don't want to secede from the Union are pretty darn pissed off about this whole stupid petition. But I'm sorry, you can't just... Well, maybe you can. I don't know, but I don't think it's right. I think it makes you traitors. I think it makes you traitors. I think people who talk about... Um, killing off the president, you know, making death threats to the president are traitors. I think people that talk about having a revolution are traitors. Um, I had to endure eight years of Bush, and I'm sorry, that was really, really gut-churningly hard. <laughs> I, I watched all the all the good things that President Clinton did to this country, for this country, and for uh, foreign relations, just do a complete nosedive. It was horrible to watch. Just sit back. And then when he was reelected after the first election, which was totally uh, rigged, uh, he still got to be president. I mean, come on. At least Obama got in 
fairly and squarely. He, he won the popular vote. He won the electoral vote. So anyway, I just had to say something about this. I, I find it hard to believe that we have that many sour grapes in this country and sore losers and children. No wonder our country's in trouble. Until we pull together, until we work together and stop, oh, well, I, I didn't get my way and I'm just going to have a major sulk attack. I'm going to, let's start our own country. I'm sorry, um, <laughs> you guys still live in basements of your parents' house? You know, you, just saying. So, anyway, I just had to make some comments. I think it's ridiculous. It's probably the most ridiculous thing I've heard in 10 years. And I've heard a lot of really ridiculous things in 10 years. So, there you go. Uh, you don't like it here? Go away. But don't you dare try to take our land away from us that um, our, our parents and grandparents and great-grandparents worked like hell to get. That's my opinion. So, thank you for listening. Bye. Oh wait, don't they shoot traitors?